Utah, flash floods turned uh, this highway into a waterfall. Back here home in Michigan, you're taking a live look over Southfield. We're a bit more fortunate today in Detroit. No more of those storms that we saw uh, yesterday, but still a bit on the uh, cooler side than usual. Cooler than usual. Seven First Alert meteorologist Hallie Vogel has a look at the forecast. So are things getting better for the uh, holiday, Hallie? Yeah, you know what? They absolutely are. So we have a little of everything. It is cooler today. It's going to be a cool start to the week. We start to warm up by the middle of the week, just in time for uh, July 4th. So if you like a little bit more heat and humidity, we have a, some of that too. But we also have a chance for rain. So it does come with some consequences. A chance for a shower or storm as it becomes a bit unsettled by the middle of the week. Yesterday was a soaker between one and over two inches of rain fell across Metro Detroit, just over an inch at Metro Airport. That pushes us ahead for the month. So we are above average by over a half inch. And so far this year also above average by over one inch. Beautiful start to the day though, 70 degrees in Detroit. 62 is our dew point. So dew point still not quite as low as some would like, but that will be dropping and changing as drier air continues to filter in with that north wind. Winds right now at about nine miles per hour. So we're seeing what's left over of some of the humidity just over us right now. Much drier air back to our west and north. So we will get there. But 64 degrees in Ann Arbor, upper 50s, the dew point. Dew point in the low 50s, much better for Pontiac and Lapeer. And our temperatures range from the 50s, like we're seeing in Port Sanilac, to 70 in Detroit, 69 degrees Monroe. So we're seeing the tail end of a secondary cold front. And again, kind of pushing in that drier air behind it. We will see just a few clouds from time to time as we go through the day today. But when we look at the humidity, yeah, we're starting off maybe just a little bit of that. You're feeling it if you're heading out the door in the next hour or so. But look how low we run 40s, very dry air mass in place. And with that dry air comes the north to northwest wind. North winds about 10 to 15, maybe gusting as high as 20 to 25 as we get into the afternoon. So we see a couple of those higher gusts in the morning, about 20 for most of the day. And again, that north wind's kind of helping us out behind the secondary cold front. Out ahead of that front, the chance for strong storms like we had yesterday. We were very close to that. We had a few of those storms that uh, popped up certainly with the heat and humidity from yesterday. Not the case as we go through the day today. All those dew points in the 40s and 50s back to our west indicating a nice start to the day and a nice finish to the weekend. Hour by hour forecast shows high pressure right overhead as we go through today and remaining fairly anchored tomorrow. It's a gorgeous day for Monday, even a little bit warmer temperatures into the 70s. A chance for rain stays back to our west on Tuesday. It'll pass to our north by the time we get into Wednesday night, we'll see our next chance for rain and some warmer temperatures. Mostly sunny, less humid today. Temperatures, look at this, a lot of 60s, upper 60s to around 70 degrees. Much cooler feel to the air, mostly clear and cool tonight with temperatures. We're going to see some 40s overnight to low 50s in the city, mid 70s tomorrow, and then we do make it back into the 80s. More